Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Moore and it's another day for an SEL lesson. I know that my class loves these lessons, so I hope you do too. So today we're going to be thinking about self-talk for learning. And don't worry, I'll tell you what that means. So last time you learned that focusing your attention and listening to directions help you, helps you know what to do in class. You also practice repeating directions, which means you say them again and again and again. Why does it help you to repeat directions to yourself? Hmm, I'm going to give you some think time. Why does it help you? If you're thinking because you remember what to do, you're right. Awesome job. You also used your attentoscope. What can you say inside your head to make sure you switch on your attentoscope? There's three words. Do you remember them? The first one is focus, focus. Listen, listen, use your self-talk. Be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen. You can also use the word watch. Those are words that mean to put on those attentoscopes. So make your attentoscope. Now put it down, but pretend it's still there because puppy is coming to visit us. Oh, puppy, you remember the listening song. Awesome. So what have you been up to, puppy? Talking to myself to remember the listening rules. I keep forgetting some of them. Puppy, you are using a skill for self-learning called self-talk. Talking to yourself can help you remember the important directions and rules. Yes, when I say the rules to myself, I remember to follow them. That's awesome, puppy. Thank you for telling us how you use self-talk to remember the listening rules. That's awesome. Focus, focus, listen, listen. Use your self-talk. Be assertive. All right, bye, puppy. All right, so now I have a story to show you and a photo. So let me show you that. Make sure you can see it. So this is Will and Lamar. Will is in the red shirt. Lamar is in the blue shirt. Will is working on his writing assignment. Here's Will. The girls behind him have finished and are reading to each other. They are whispering and giggling. The noise they are making is a distraction. A distraction is something that bothers you or takes your attention or focus away. Will is ignoring or not paying attention to this distraction. Is there anyone in the photo who you see that can't ignore the distraction? Do you see anyone in this photo who's having a hard time ignoring the distraction? If you said Lamar, right here, yeah, he's having a hard time just ignoring the girls, which is sometimes really hard to do if people are being loud or silly, and it's hard to ignore them. How can you tell that Lamar is distracted? What do you think? If you said because he's looking backwards at them, then you're right. You can tell he's distracted because he's not looking or focusing on his paper. So let's think about Lamar. Here's Lamar. Here's the girls being silly and loud. And we've got Will, who's really focused. He's doing a great job because it's hard sometimes to not be distracted by others. So here's another question for you. Think about what Lamar could do to help himself ignore the distraction. So what do you think Lamar could do to help him ignore the distraction? What do you think? 
I'll give you some time to think. All right, maybe you were thinking about his, he could use his attentoscope and focus back on his work. Um, maybe he could look over at his friend Will, oops, sorry, and notice that he's really focused. Um, he could also maybe go talk to the teacher and tell them, tell her that the girls are distracting him and he's trying really hard to focus. Because if there are people bothering you and you're trying your really, really, really hard to focus on something and you just can't because other people are being loud and not doing the right thing, sometimes you have to tell your teacher that. So give me a thumbs up if you thought the same thing. Awesome. So I'm going to tell you what they think. So Lamar decides to use his attentoscope. He tells himself to ignore the girls. He also repeats the directions for his assignment. He says, focus, focus, ignore the girls behind me. Hmm. Circle all the pictures that start with the same sound. So he's thinking, focus, focus, ignore the girls behind me. And then he remembers his directions. Circle all the pictures that start with the same sound. So when you talk to yourself out loud or in your head, it is called self-talk. Although the girls are very distracting, Lamar can keep doing his work by using self-talk and his attentoscope. So one thing you can do if people are distracting you is think about focus, focus, let me do my math problem, focus, focus, let me do my math problem. So you're saying it over and over again, so you're only focusing on that. And again, if it's too much of a distraction, you should probably tell your teacher so that she can talk to those people that are distracting you. All right, so now we're going to play a game. We're going to practice self-talk in a my turn, your turn game using your journal. So go get your journal, one of the journals that you use for school, or just a book nearby, whichever one works. And when it's my turn, <clears throat> I will tell you some things to do or to look for in the book. There are two rules. Okay, so focus on me right now. Make your attentoscope. You have to listen to those two rules. Rule one, wait for me to say your turn before you do what I tell you to do. So you have to wait for me to say your turn. Rule number two, use self-talk to help you remember what to do. So you'll want to say it again and again, either in your head or out loud. All right, you can keep repeating the directions to yourself while you wait for me to say your turn to help you remember what to do. All right, here we go. My turn. use an example. My turn. Hold the book over your head. Your turn. I hope you waited. Now it's your turn. Go ahead. Awesome. I see you holding the book over your head. My turn. Lay the book on the ground. Your turn. Did you wait for me to say your turn? Awesome job. All right, open the book or your journal to the first page. Your turn. I hope you waited for me. My turn, close the book. Your turn, hope you waited for your turn. All right, awesome job guys. Hopefully you were talking to yourself and repeating the directions I gave you so that you wouldn't forget them while you waited for me to say your turn. That's the trickiest part. You really have to listen and remember the directions. All right, so today we learned all about self-talk. You can use your self-talk to repeat directions to yourself and remind yourself to turn on your attentoscope so you can focus your attention. You can use self-talk to ignore distractions. So distractions are, remember, things that might bother you. 
and keep doing your work. Self-talk is a very important skill for learning. When I'm going to ask you one more question before we go. When are some times today that you think you can use self-talk to help you learn? Right now is a great time to use self-talk to help you learn because you have to listen to directions from your parents so you can complete your work. So let's think about that as we finish all our online schoolwork today. So last thing we're going to do, we're going to bring Puppy and Snail on in and listen to the learner song. Awesome job today, guys. Focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, use the way to be walk and learn. First you focus, get your attention, use eyes and ears and brain. Now you listen, make sure you listen, use eyes and ears and brain. Use your self-talk, say I can do this, focus, focus now.